Today we took her to the Texas Children's Hospital to do the allergy test. She had these massive rashes all over her body when she's three months old. We had cat and dog at home, so we thought she might be allergy to pet. Baby has to be at least six months to do it, so I called the hospital when she's six months old and a scheduled appointment, and we waited for half year almost. The top eight foods that can cause allergy easily are milk, egg, soy, peanut, tree nut, shellfish, fish. She has eaten a lot of food, only left peanut and tree nut to try. After checking, nurse got her weight, 11 months old, 21 pound. I talked to the doctor about her eczema condition. She checked my daughter's skin and my skin. The conclusion is that the rash is not caused by food allergy or pet allergy. She's just born with this type of skin. It's genetic, and the eczema cannot be cured completely. The only thing we can do the best is to take care of the skin. The doctor said the test is not painful. Baby might be fussy because it's itchy, but not because it's painful. And the process is quite simple. First step, mark on the back. Plus means positive, minus means negative, D means dog, C means cat, DM means dust mite, P means peanut, S means shellfish, TN means tree nut. Then the doctor will poke with a needle behind each mark. We wait 15 minutes to see the result on the back. If any spot presents the same condition with the plus, which means she's allergy to that subject, the doctor said she cannot take shower longer than 10 minutes every time, and we have to bathe her immediately after shower and put lotion on her body. She got this dry and sensitive skin from me. Staying in water for a long time will just make her skin drier. This broke my heart to pieces because she really loved to play water. She can stay in water for 30 minutes or longer. She just enjoys staying there and play her toy. I got her some bath toy. She's super happy every time she takes bath. Okay, it's time to read the result. Good news is, she's not allergy to any of those subjects. So we are down. The next thing we need to do is get her medication and change the skincare products she's currently use. This is the instruction of how to provide peanut butter to your baby. Basically, you need to mix it with the soft food or liquid to feed your baby. This is a test result and the instruction of the medication, also a list of a skincare product that recommended for dry and sensitive skin. Hydrocortisone 2.5% for face, neck, behind the ear, under arm, groin. This is Triamcellulone Acetonide 0.1% for body like chest, back, arms, legs. Here come with the dry and sensitive skincare product recommendations. You all can save this if you or your baby has the same kind of skin, dry and sensitive. This might be helpful. Baby Dove Sensitive Skin Care Fragrance Free Wash Mini Cream Cleanser Bar Cetaphil Baby Wash and Shampoo CRV Baby Wash and Shampoo Tide Free and Gentle Detergent Cheer Free and Gentle Detergent All Free and Clear Purex free and clear detergent, bounce free and gentle softener dryer sheets, Downy free and gentle softener liquid, Vinny cream baby moisturizing cream, seed fill moisturizing cream, seed fill baby moisturizing cream, Cero V baby moisturizing cream, fragrance free Vaseline, baby aquaphor. Here is a list of recommended sunscreen product. For baby use, it has to be alcohol-free, SPF 30 or over. It has to be mineral-based ingredients like zinc oxide, 
It needs to be broad spectrum, so it can against both UVE and UVB. We've been using this body lotion from Noodle and Boo. It's pretty good, it's soft, but it's not fragrancy free. Now we switch to Seed Fell Moisturizing Cream. It's good for adult and kid. We've been using this Aquaphor since she's born. This is the fifth jar. We've been using this detergent from Drift that specifically designed for baby. It's not fragrancy free, but I don't know why this is not on the recommendation list. So we switch to all free and clear detergent. We previously used Aveno Baby Wash and Shampoo. The shampoo and conditioner from Ever Aiden. It's pretty good. It has omega 3 and 6, amino acids, and multivitamins. We are pretty satisfied with these products and we're gonna keep using it. But we switch the body wash to CRV Baby Wash and Shampoo. We choose this Aveno Baby Sensitive Skin Sunscreen. We also went to Whole Foods, got her some nut butter like cashew butter, peanut butter, almond butter. Those are no sugar added and no salt, and it contains zero milligram sodium, which is really good. Okay, so if you find this video helps, please give us a thumb up and also hit the follow button, follow us. And I'm pretty sure my baby girl has so many stories to share with you all. Just wait until she can talk.